Hello everyone, this is Faninder Seelam. Welcome to the comprehensive summary of Phase 4, The Triumph of Liberalization in India, spanning from 1988 to, uh, to 2006. This is a summary from uh, the chapter Phase 4, The Liberalization in India, uh, from the book The India, the Emerging Giant, written by Anvind Panigarya. Let us dive into the transformative journey of India's economic landscape during this period. Phase 4 began with a robust economic growth, but soon faced a daunting balance of payment crisis. However, it was also the era when India embraced liberalization measures to combat economic challenges. Despite seeking assistance from international financial institutions, India's liberalization efforts were prim uh, primarily homegrown. Over the time, the influence of external entities waned and India took charge of its reforms agenda. India's political sphere was dynamic, marked by coalition government and leadership changes, yet successful government persisted with a liberalization driven by consens consensus favoring pro-market policies. Throughout phase four, India witnessed a sustained economic growth with GDP surging beyond 6%, despite hurdles like anti-incumbency sen uh, sentiments and resistance to reforms, the momentum of liberalization remained intact. The shifting consensus towards liberalization gained momentum with leaders like Aji Patil uh, advocating for market-oriented reforms. This culminated significant policy shifts exemplified by 1990 Industrial Policy Statement. India experienced a remarkable economic boom during the late 1980s fueled by liberalization measures. However, the surge in the growth also led to a looming balance of payment crisis necessitating uh, intervention from the corporate financial institutions. The new industrial policy in 1991 and 1992 in a new era of liberalization abolished licensing and entry restrictions and opening up various sectors to private investment. This policy overhaul set the stage for India's economic resurgence. Trade liberalization became a con cornerstone for India's reform agenda with significant tariff reduction and removal of import licensing. The, the liberalization efforts extended to services and foreign investments, promoting a more open and investor-friendly environment. In conclusion, phase four witnessed the India's triumph, march towards liberalization and economic growth. Despite challenges, India emerged as a global economic powerhouse, laying the foundation for the future prosperity and development. Thank you.